Well, we had a goal at either end. We almost forget those, <laughs> don't we, exactly. Archie? Yeah. And a really good um, part of play from Nottingham Forest, first of all. Uh, two set pieces in the end that did for them. Yeah, but th 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 this is a good ball put in. They get a shot. Goalkeeper makes a good save. He's panned out. Oh, this, this is Cummins. I heard Don saying he thought it was a great ball in. I think it's pretty ordinary, actually. <laughs> I, th I think he hits it flat. Uh, but they get a little touch there and it goes in off of Villa. His arm was offside, but he wasn't. Emmanuel Villa gets a goal at either end. Uh, yeah, the, the ball bounces up and it hits him, but no way it's a penalty kick. But see, I think if you see the referee, the referee actually has Addison's head and it he is blowing for a penalty kick. You, you, if you can see him, is, is he in the screen? No. But in a longer shot, you'll see him. But that, that was not a penalty kick. There he is. He's blown yeah. and pointed before, just about before the yeah. ball is in the yeah. net. But, uh, you know, Nasser yeah. Barazit here then. You expect yeah. him to score the quality yeah. he's shown. It's a good save though from Definitely Lee Camp. It's a great save. But, you know, Camp there looked as if, if you run on a little bit, it looked as if that's it finished. And I just said to you, you've got something else to do. Which he did. He made a good save after that. And he's been very fortunate as much that he said a goal, perfectly good goal put past him. So if he been joyous 60 seconds earlier, it could have been losing 2-1. Well, let's have a look at it then, because I'm sure they're picking the bones out of this downstairs as well in the dressing room area. Can you see a foul in here? There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing in any way, shape or form wrong with the goal. It's perfect. I don't know what goes through a referee's mind, Archie, but do you think that maybe he thought, well, actually it probably well, wasn't I, a penalty, I, so this isn't a goal? Yeah, well, I don't really know that, but I think if we went back earlier to the sending off, which I thought personally was a little bit harsh, then 60 seconds or so later on, Cummins get pushed in the back and he lets it go. So he might have been trying to sort of appease people, but, you know, referees and positions of games that are important, he should be there, he should forget everything that's gone before, and that there is a perfectly good goal. Well, let's hear from the Nottingham Forest manager, Colin Calderwood with Greg. Well, Colin, are you pleased or relieved to take a point from that one? Well, I'm not relieved. You know, we, minimum we deserve is a point, let's be fair. And until the equaliser, they don't look as if they're going to score. So, uh, you know, they'd be relieved to get back in the game because it looked as if it was ours to control. We haven't defended a wide free kick particularly well, perhaps offside. But... Um, from then on, to play with ten men, the last of it, um, the, I mean the, last, the climax of the game is fantastic, isn't it? And it probably covers over a desperate first half. What did you make of the events of the last couple of minutes? The penalty award, then the disallowed goal. Well, it's not a penalty. It's not a penalty, but we're glad it is because uh, the boys followed up and ended up putting the net. But obviously, Lee Camp and all the defenders had stopped. <laughs> um, and then the penalty saved, but. Uh, you know, we just we got ourselves entrenched in a box and we, we've got to defend a corner or a wide free kick better than we have done. Um, what what is seen for disallowing their goal, I don't know. You know, and if there's any relief, I'm, I'm thankful for that. But, you know, it's the first element, first decision we've had for us. But we've had plenty to go against us so far this season. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Would you agree, Archie, that they haven't had the breaks and today maybe they got one and deserved one? I think so. I think uh, today if Forrest had lost the game 2-1 with the youngsters that's in the team, I think it would have been very, very hard to come back. But I agree with them. Overall, if you look at the 90 minutes, Forrest most certainly deserved their point. Uh, I thought they played exceptionally well second half and they were the, the main people, or the only people I thought were going to score. Uh, Derby have come back, as Paul said, that they've battled back. They've got an equaliser. They've most certainly got a winning goal, but it's been chalked off. So I think everybody, when everything settles down and they all look at it, I think a point apiece is a fair result. And remember, they had to play the last part of the game with yeah. just 10 men. Yeah. Well, I say, I, I, I disagree. I disagree with the sending off. I, I think that's a perfectly good tackle. I don't see anything wrong that's with That's okay, is it? Have your studs up? Yeah, well, of course, you know, he's going to win the ball. He does play the ball. You know, and I think it's very, very harsh. This is um, what the referee sees of it. This is, we can see his angle here. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not really bored at what angle he sees. I, I just don't think it's a sending off. 